Blaise Pascal was born on June 19, 1623, in the French town of Clermont-Ferrand, son of Etienne Pascal and Antoinette Begon. Pascal lost his mother when he was three, and his father was then a local judge and a member of the Noblesse de Robe. Young Blaise was very interested in mathematics. His father had planned not to teach him mathematics until he was 15, but this changed when Blaise was 12 and had found the sum of a triangle's angles to be equal to two right angles. Two years later, he accompanied his father in Merzan's meetings, which included mathematicians such as Gassendi, Roberville, and Karkavi. By that time, he had come to admire the work of Gérard Degas, a founder of projective geometry. The inspiration led him to write a paper on projective geometry theorems and his mystic hexagon. He presented it in the meeting of June 1639. In the year after, his father Etienne was appointed as a tax collector for Upper Normandy in Rouen. At that time, Blaise had published his Essai pour le Conique, an essay on conic sections. Calculating taxes were strenuous and cumbersome back then, which led Pascal to develop the first mechanical digital calculator named the Pascaline. However, there were design flaws due to the French currency depending on multiples of 20 and 12. Along with its expensive cost, only the richest owned it for their own calculating purposes and it was not commercially successful. Even so, Pascal continued to modify it. In 1646, Pascal's father had slipped on an icy road in Rouen. Given the state of medicine at the time, a broken hip could be fatal. Pascal was taken care of by two brothers from a religious movement outside of Rouen, in Port Royal, and they had a great religious effect on him. This led Pascal to be deeply religious, and from his father's death in 1651, he wrote a letter to his sister that would be the base of Pensé. In 1647, the year after, Pascal had developed proof for the existence of the vacuum, leading René Descartes, who did not believe in a vacuum, to visit him to discuss the issue. The visit lasted two days, and Descartes wrote to Huguen mockingly saying, he has too much vacuum in his head. Pascal also conducted experiments on air pressure using his own barometers, and using his law of transmittance of fluids, created the syringe and the hydraulic press then publishing his greatest contribution to physics, Treatise on Equilibrium of Liquids. By then, he was a very famous mathematician and also worked on the generation of conic sections, which he never finished. However, he had managed to finish his Treatise on the Arithmetic Triangle, which presents the very famous Pascal Triangle. His work led Newton to formulate the binomial theorem. Pascal's genius had then turned to probability. He worked with Pierre de Fermat on the theory of probability, and together they developed methods of a two-player game of die. It was that time during which Pascal felt unwell, yet he continued to work on mathematics. In October 1654, Pascal reached the life-death situation. The horses drawing his carriage bolted on a bridge, leaving Pascal hanging over the Seine River. Pascal was radically changed psychologically, and pledged his life to Christianity on November 23, 1654. He then proceeded to write Pensé, his greatest work of philosophy, which included probability, logic, and mathematics to prove the rationality of believing God. Even though Pascal had abandoned his scientific work, he started mathematics again in 1658 due to sleeping problems. He began working on cycloids and their surface areas and volumes when revolved. He began a competition challenging several mathematicians such as Leibniz and Fermat. Some of them did not enter the competition but sent Pascal their findings. However, that was the end of his work on mathematics and for the rest of his life, donated to the poor and attended religious services in August 19, 
1662, at the age of 39, Blaise Pascal died in Paris, France. Pascal died unmarried and without children, but his legacy grows. He formed hydrodynamics and hydrostatics, the Pascaline, and the syringe. He is highly revered today with his triangle. His work on probability was at first used for gambling, but now also used for economics and actuarial science. The unit of pressure is named Pascal in his honor, a computer language named after him, and is used today in memory programs and Linux-based software. Pascal also invented roulette in search for a perpetual motion machine. He appeared on the postage stamps of France, Guinea, Monaco, Cambodia, and the Central African Republic.